welcome to Never Enough Cruising. This is the 20th of January. We woke up to a glorious sunrise and ice on the canal. But um, today is also our moving day and we are heading on from Honey Street to hopefully all cannons. We've just got to see really. It's very nice, very cold and crisp though, isn't it? It's lunchtime now because we've just topped up for water. We always top up at lunchtime for water. No, no, I'm just saying. We were already first thing this morning, we're waiting for... Um, another boat. Another boat. But as you can see, it's a glorious day. Blue skies. Um, it's just got to... Slow down for a moored boat. Especially around here because the banks are very uh, soft. Yes. And you pull your pins out if you go past too quick. Yeah, we're still suffering quite badly from the water that's been uh, All the, the rain, rain and up. everything, and the towpaths are in a bit of a sorry state in places. So um, yeah, we just have to be a bit careful, otherwise you you know the bank could break away. And that's it has done here thing. already. Um, yeah. And that's why you can't. You, if you look at this boat when we go past it, it's about four, four or five foot away from the bank. Yeah. Because the, the bank has collapsed in over the last few years and you can't get the boats up to the bank. So hence the reason for using a, a long gang plank on the KA. Yeah. Because it's like this most of the way. It would be nice to have actually um, Armaco down here. It would be nice. It would be nice, but this is still very much um, a canal under restoration. It really hasn't been open, reopened that long. Um, I think you can see here on the something. yeah. I think you can just see here on the left-hand side where the bank is breaking away there, it dropping down. Still needs down. a lot of work. So yes, it still needs. It's an ongoing project, shall we say? Um, but as you can see from the back end of this boat, it's quite a way off the... About four foot, I think. Yeah, it's about four foot. That's why you always need a really long plank. He's already got a, a little bit of a lean on, so he's right up against the uh, mm. silt now. But you can see, look, just how much it is. The it's thing is, the way there. they're quite reluctant to do anything on some parts of this stretch because there are a lot of water voles. And, of course, you need to encourage the little water voles. In some cases they've left the towpath side and moved on to the opposite side, which is great. What's the good thing about being a water roll is, you don't have to move every two weeks, do you? <laughs> no. Only when he wants to go and get something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> but, Both stays where it is. But there you go, that's, um, that's why you really do need a, a always carry plank. with you an extra long plank going on some of the canals so although we do moan about it can't get in sometimes we move on not really really where we want to go um, there's lots of little creatures in there the water voles and things so it's getting there it's I'm getting there. solar panels up today there's uh, we're only going two miles no yeah there's no um, low bridges we know that we know that. And it's a glorious day for the solar to work. We had the washing on this morning. That's all done. It's all drying now inside. That's the other thing you do just before you top up with water. You get the washing done. Get all the washing done. <laughs> Will your water tank last longer. So we're just going under bridge 125. And hopefully heading towards or cannons. Or cannons if we can find a space.
even though it's such a cold day, with some ice pockets still across the water here, um, the sun is quite warm on my legs. So it's quite deceiving. The front half of me is really cold. And the side of me, where the sun's on, is really warm. So it's quite strange. Quite an odd feeling today. But lovely crisp air. Last time we were on this stretch in the summer, early summer, the reeds in front had grown virtually across the canal. Um, very, very difficult for navigation. Very poor for the wide beams and our friends uh, travelling because you couldn't see around the bends because it was so wild, I suppose you'd call them the reeds here. But this time of the year, it's not a problem. Because the left hand side um, will be grown up with fresh vegetation, butter burrs and all sorts of things down here, more reeds. So it really does make the viewing very, very difficult. And you can see how tall the reeds grow. It's actually taller than I'm, than me, and I'm stood on the boat. So when you have it on both sides, it really does block your view. Nice to see the ponies in the field too. All rigged up on this cold day. Pretty ponies. Is just how tall the reeds were on the left hand side in the summer when we came down last year. This is Wooten Rivers, and you can see this is still needs attention and it's locked off. As you can see the chain at the top. This is Cadley Lock on the Curtain Avon and they're putting a dam in at the moment so they can work on the brickwork on the lock. So we've got two people in the water. And two on the side to help pull the locking down into place. It's cold today so the water will probably be I don't know minus three four size probably in there.
Yeah. So how is this working then? You had a chat with him at the top. Yeah, these are the contractors putting in the temporary dam. And um, once they let the water out, once they've got all that down, they let the water out in between there and the uh, lock gates, and the water pressure this side will then keep it there. But it's, yeah, it's such a simple but clever idea. But very cold. No, he says they, they come out of those the dry bags or the wet the dry suits they got on. Mm. Sounds we used to use in the Navy for diving. Zipped across the back, stick your head through up through the and so they come out of this way. It's mine that work, isn't it? It's clever. Well yeah, it's very heavy what they're doing. So this is something the average um, boater does not see. Um so it's quite nice to actually be able to capture it. We've been um, waiting to see how this works. still remains here and uh, that was the barn that Jane Seymour and Henry VIII were married in. No longer Not that about. One. So um, yeah it's very sad. There were still tapestries hung in that old barn that were put up when Jane and Henry were married in there secretly. Yes. So it meets the road. That's up in the village, isn't it? That's built for water. Have they closed the gate down here? I don't know. I'll have a look. Yes, I, I want to go up there and see if they shut that window. Yeah. See? We're going to be working on this and it's in full swing. So we've not been up to it before while well, it's been closed. So hopefully. Last time we came through was November or was it December? So we came up to want that boat out. Yep. And then we had to. Uh, well, we definitely moved over before Christmas. Yes, because we knew this was coming, so we've already been down to what, Cadley Lock and we've just seen them putting in a flexi dam so they don't have to drain the pound. They don't have to drain the summit. <laughs> yeah. They're doing the, um, the brickwork on the approach walls on 50, Lock 54. Yeah, it's very cold today. It is cold. And they had two men in the water. In their dry suits. In their dry suits. So this is coming up to this. Lock 56. 
Lock 56. So again, this is some of the amazing work that goes on that we don't get to see as normal narrowboaters in the winter. Because, there you go, Lock 56. And what's going on in here? I'll have a little closer look. Eco 7 welfare pod, that says. Yeah. <laughs> They've got their own loos. Probably. Yeah. You might cut off for a cup of tea. That's right. So I'll have a see if we can see around the other side what's going on. As I say, this is the sort of thing that you don't actually get to see. But we knew this was coming on, so we came down to look. So hopefully we won't get drowned it out when I look round the corner. goes on behind the scenes. No, this is um, the engine pound at Crofton and we've um, come down to have a look. We can't get access onto the footpath because it's all been closed and you'll understand why. Um, the little green box over there, you can see in the middle of the screen behind the grey water cabin is being moved from that side of the canal to roughly where the digger is digging out down there. He's not digging out, he's putting scalpings, I don't know what you call them, so that they're making the track accessible for lorries. Oh yes, because here is um, the field here alongside the railway line has got a path coming down which is a maintenance pass that CRT use and they come down for the lock. So the bin lorries can get down to empty the bin. Well. Yeah that's the that's just an access road. That's where the bins are. We normally moor just the other side there. Actually just behind just uh, one's going across to about there is where we normally moor just over there. And it's an amazing view. Love it there. Love it here. And um, and that going along there is Walton Water. That's what's happening at the moment. So this is what they're doing here is prepping the road, putting the scalpings down to bring the work lorries down this track here see the pony in the field which is the access track obviously they need it firmer and so they can get a bit more here because this is where the refuge bit is rubbish over there to the end of that compound or porter cabin well look there's the swan trying to get in that's where we normally normally moor up down there there it goes so that was our spot So Crofton's closed at the moment, so it's winter time and we've been given permission to come in and film, which is great. And we're going up now to see Simon to have a chat with him. It's amazing, isn't it? Still doing its original job. Yeah. 